do you guys have any fond memories of Diamond Vinny from that era? Recording, touring? Of course not. No, no way. Not at all. <laughs> Always. Come on, Jimmy. I know. I just love hearing him. Twist and hurl. Oh, God. Twist oh, and hurl. Man. It was oh, a yeah, dude. game, and there was this dead end sign. There was a studio right here. We would jam inside the studio, step outside the studio, little parking lot. And it, we were at the very end of the dead end street. And there was this dead end sign at the end of the street. So the, the game was <laughs> shut the beer, spin around, and hum it at the damn sign. And I guess we we woke up some neighbors. Yeah, we had uh, the cops come out and we, we became friends with them at a certain point. You know, they they were just they like, were Man, we're tired of we're tired of Once coming out here. Y'all want to y'all want to do it? And this one cop did this one time. They were towards the end. Diamond even spray painted a fucking X in the, you know, little spot you stood in on the pavement in front of the studio. And that was just one, you know, of the of the fucking thousands of things that Dom would keep us sane on the road, you know. The guy just loved life, man. You know, and he would do it at other people's expenses sometimes. But we, we, but it was all in good fun, and uh, so that kept you on your toes all the time. You never knew what was going to fucking happen that crazy Sunday. <laughs> huh. Yeah, man, like the the old uh, never a dull moment type thing. He was Dimebag was like, uh, what is it like? An extremist against dull moments. <laughs> he would he would fight to the death. And he <laughs> the crouch he'll mark the fucking <laughs> if, yeah. if he's making up a game with a I don't know, man. The dude could turn nothing into something quick. And you say and kept you guys sane on the road. Is that kind of, you mean like he was he just kind of kept like that good good vibes and kind of like always the glue it's well always you, light. you get a bunch of people in close quarters for x amount for as long as we were on the fucking road you're gonna butt heads sometimes and he was good at identifying all that and you know when it was time to take everybody's mind off of the whatever we're whatever we're touring in whether it was the fucking winnebago that was falling apart <laughs> every time next to each other you know it's like fucking terrible uh you know take your mind <laughs> off of that shit he was the dude to do it for sure twist and hurl that that went Winne winnebago man oh my god it was brand new we were bottles we... against the freaking winnebago at one point oh yeah we used to assemble that the fucking remember that shit at the old <laughs> they old suburban when you're riding around and stuffed in those crap quarters dom would always come up with something and genius or maybe not we would make it into something like that just to pass the time you know oh, yeah. or or listening to different shit that we would never listen to before that maybe philip brought in or dime or i would have brought in um you know i was a zeppelin freak and pretty much it was yes philip i think that's what made us who we were and who we are you know um the because we toured man a lot um in those 12 short years you know i don't know how many shows we played but it was at least 300 a year oh yeah on an average yeah so that's a bunch you know you start adding those up and that's that's a lot of gigs man and um some days were just like anything else in life, you just fucking pull your bootstraps up and get after it. You know? One of the best, did. though, how about when he would somehow, we'd all get terrible seats on an airplane. He would oh. turn that. This was way before. Me and you would be in the smoking section back when they let you smoke up in the air. And then I remember one time us going back there to check on him, and it was that one time he had his shirt off. Him and this old man were sitting next to each other. They both had their shirts off. Dimebag drew and Sharpie all over his stomach. And I stuff. drew that, by the way. I Everyone drew that. The, the whole thing. <laughs> Without the, the, a shirt on. The stewardesses, everybody. You couldn't get a laugh out of them people these days, but he could. I, 
we'd go through the airport. <laughs> we'd go Indeed. through the airport and on our man, he would have a fucking skateboard going through the airport and playing a guitar with a uh, or a wheelchair or no, you know, whatever you get his hand on. I remember Benny used to camp out underneath the seats at the airport. And so when you're looking for Benny, just kind of look for a, a seating section with a bunch of like all of his luggage just sprayed out, you know. How about the first um, time we went to Europe? Oh, my God. Vince, we looked around. Lemon and, pepper. No, no, no. We, we looked around on the plane. And it was like, where's Vince? Where's Vince? Oh, my God. Where's Vince? This is before cell phones playing. and all that shit. So we had to land <laughs> Europe only to find out from our management that he had missed the flight. He went to the toilet <laughs> and missed yeah, the first it. flight. He had to fly to Europe for his first time <laughs> by himself and shit. And if you knew if you knew Vince back then, that was a big deal. It was like, oh man. Gigantic. What's lemon pepper? <laughs> lemon pepper oh. is a put on food that Vinnie Paul would carry with him everywhere. If you go sit in his car, he picks you up. Hey, man, what's going on? Get in. He He'll just take it like it. Pepper next to him, putting it on his tongue and stuff. It's like, what? But not actually pouring it on his tongue, licking it out of the bottle. So if you wanted to uh-huh. have any lemon pepper with anything, you didn't use his bottle. In the studio, he had his own oh, yeah. lemon pepper behind the, the desk. You, on the drum kit. the thing, like, singing stuff. Whoa, and I look up and Vince is like, Eating this lemon. <laughs> what the hell? Man, it was four. We were four crazy individuals, man. Those are the days. Fuck yeah. I mean, even the brothers have just completely different, like from from another father. It's weird. That's true. And, and stature um, and everything. And, um, and just the know, way they talk. Dimebag was Carol and Vince was the elder yeah absolutely oh hell i lived that house when i was 16 you know with them how was i ever y'all ever brought me to first time i ever came down uh, you know we went straight to the studio rex picked me up from the airport went straight to the studio jammed and we went back to dime bags mom's house dime bag and vince's mom's house and y'all made drink me a bottle, tequila shot. Drank a bottle of tequila and a joint, or I think I had two, and there it was. I don't drink tequila, man, and I was just trying to hang with the new guys. <laughs> and the third shot that was like this big. I'm like, okay, dudes, I don't drink this shit. You go back a long ways, man. Mess those fuckers. That's for damn sure. 